Well, darn it, they're out of new Stephen King books and old Stephen King books that I like, so I guess I'll just get The Shining. Oh no, on a Stephen King kick, I guess. Just like my comforting routine, go down to the library every day or two, get a new book, go through Stephen King books pretty quick, and it gives me something to do while I'm at the shelter because they don't ever watch anything good on the TV. Oh, still not feeling that great. You know, poison air and everything. Still, at least it's not New York. Somebody's telling me about a friend they had in New York, and they're, like, Skyping them. And the air is orange, so... Could be better. I mean, there's a little bit of a visible haze, but... It mostly just looks like I have bad vision. Only it's only bad when I look through a lot of air. Oh... Actually, was I doing well during that two years with the French Roll Plan? I don't, yeah, I, uh, man, it's hard to say. I really liked going to hotels in different places and working on gas meters when I had my own room. That was nice. And, you know, everybody seemed to respect me, except my boss, who was mad at me because everybody respected me. It's like, could I ever just have a situation where that sh shit like that isn't going on? Doesn't seem like it. It's always got to be fucking something. Bray, you can't ask for a perfect life. And it's like, well... I mean, since I'm not really trying to get things, I feel like I can. Like, people who are trying to get things. Like, if they encounter obstacles, that's understandable. If you're trying to get things, stuff will get in your way. If I'm just, like, waltzing onto the scene like, so, what, what, what's, what's required of me here? What does everybody want? With that kind of attitude, I shouldn't have fucking obstacles. But I always do. I always do. It's really hard to make plans when you don't have an ego. Like, oh, I see myself this way, so I, I can get something that's consistent with that self-image, or a situation that will allow me to reinforce that self-image. And so, it's easy to make plans. When your entire sense of self is just like, well, I'll do whatever seems appropriate in any given situation. You just kind of take the first path that opens up to you. So, tomorrow, be moving into this house with, like, There'll be four other homeless guys, at least it has Wi-Fi. I'll have a little bit more freedom. Get a job. Sounds like it's packing paper plates, doesn't seem too hard. Probably hella boring, but I mean, fuck man. My last job was challenging and it was burning me out. I just gotta remember not to go too fast or be too efficient. That's always a problem with me. It's hard to hold back though, because I like getting shit done. Unfortunately, that, that does tend to lead to them like, oh, look at that Ray. He must like to work. And it's like, well, not exactly. I'm just a purpose-driven person, and the purpose of work is obvious. To get shit done. <sighs> Doesn't mean I have some, like, personal liking for it. I, just, I mean, do I? I don't know. I kind of enjoyed being homeless just because I'm so burned out from the grind of the various shit. Of course, what makes it a grind, really, is that it's the kind of job where your bosses expect you to make compromises on what's right, but if you don't, because you won't, it's just so fucking hard. <sighs> it's like that with everything, you know? Everybody's just like, well, I mean, if this situation's suboptimal, then why don't you be suboptimal? Because, you know? And I'm like, well, I... <laughs> Well, just because everything is shit, like, I mean, I, the only way that I can feel good is to feel good about myself, because, like, everything else isn't going to stop being shit, but I cannot be shit, and then I have one thing to feel good about, and I'm not going to sacrifice that. <sighs> you know, the, and the thing is, like, it's not that, by the way, just in case anybody hasn't followed my whole story, it's not that I've never done bad things, but... Here's the thing, what I do is, I've done bad things, recognize they're bad, feel bad about it, try to do better, and then succeed in doing better, and then make that my new habit. 
It's the least you can do. It's the most you can do. It's the only that you can do. At least that's what my simple mind thinks. I've noticed that other people don't see it that way. They're like, well, I mean, I'm doing bad things, but derp a der 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 it's fine, derp a der 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 If I just argue with people enough, that'll make it fine somehow. Or if I find some people who agree with my fucking wrongness, it's okay somehow. It's just like, it doesn't work that way with me. <sighs> I mean, it doesn't really work that way with anyone, you know? Because as soon as they're, like I said, as soon as they're confronted with the idea that otherwise is an option, I don't know, I just have no friends. It's just, it's a lonely life. People like me. It's this weird paradox. People like me. But, you know, I've never really had friends or a girlfriend or any, any shit that a likable person would seemingly have. Oh, likable and intelligent. Likable, intelligent. People even tell me that I'm not bad looking. I don't know about all that. But still, just on the likable and intelligent part, you would think at some point I would have friends, or a girlfriend, or some shit like that. Not really. <sighs> I never get traction on that. It's such a lonely life. And it's not getting better, because as I get better, the problem gets worse. But I can't just, like, degrade my own quality or move backwards with it. I only have the one thing in life to feel good about. By the way, that whole thing where I say that I'm God and I'm living a perfect life, that's what I mean. You know, I just do the least you can do and the most you can do. The only that you can do, which is... Recognize when you do things that are bad and then stop doing them. And a lot of that is just reacting to people interpersonally and their shittiness. It's like reacting to shittiness with more intelligent shittiness doesn't make them less shitty and therefore is not worthwhile. The thing is, I mean, part of the temptation in this world is women love a bad boy and I'm good at it because I don't give a fuck about people's opinions. But, you know, are those women quality women? No. I want something loving and sweet, and those kind of women, they don't want that. Very lonely. And it's like, you know, what can you do? You know, I live in a shitty reality. I guess I'm doing the only thing I can do, which is thinking that I'm God and doing God math for hours, sometimes. <sighs> you know, but like, if my life, if I'm not God, then, like, what's the explanation for why I'm just always getting better and better at doing right in situations and it's just like more and more of a challenge is always fucking heaped upon me. It's like all these trials and tribulations. I wonder if I will get the uh, the social security and maybe just not work at all. On the one hand I'm like well I might get bored but it's like I could probably find things to occupy my time. Any kind of work situation it's just like I don't know, I feel trepidation. I'm thinking about like, okay, if I get this job, well, am I gonna look for another job? Should I? Uh, it's all these arbitrary decisions, things that are almost impossible for me. I really just make the best of whatever situation I'm in. Might be stacking fucking paper plates for the next like 10 fucking years. And the only reason that won't happen is if things go to total shit and I get my ass worked off until I fucking break down. Ah. <sighs> I mean, the thing is, I'm trying to be positive here, but, like, I have the reality that I have, and I gotta work with that. You know, my expectations of the future are based on my experiences in the past. That's appropriate for my age. Being all hopeful and shit, I mean, that's for a, that's for a younger man. <sighs> 